Welcome to another video of Lord PD TV Plays. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going through a couple of dungeons here. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about what we do in certain situations and how we kind of fix them and went through it, how the bosses are dealt with and so on and so forth. We're going to be dealing with multiple different classes. Uh, I would say it's going to be up to, you know, five or six different classes. But as of right now, we're prioritizing, you know, Druid and Monk or I should say Balanced Druid and Brewmaster Monk. So please check us out. We're going to be doing a lot of other keys for other classes too. So we'll see you all soon. This is week five of season three of Dragonflight, and we're kind of going through the process here of uh, trying to take care of uh, fortified entangling and bolstering. And we worked on a couple of different classes. We tried to really push keys pretty hard this week, and uh, this is kind of the results. As per normal, when we start our AD pulls on Fortified Weeks, we first go to the left. We end up going to the left, pulling those first two groups. We hop down, we end up pulling those screechers. Then we usually end up pulling the uh, the little dudes on the, on the stairs. And then we come down and we go after Razan because usually he rotates perfectly at that point. Uh, while we do this, we make sure that we're dealing with our raptors and so on and so forth at pursuit at one uh second on the clock usually we end up starting to run away uh we have learned that there is a a a little uh change ability where you can end up using shadow meld if even if you're not targeted during pursuit to end up taking your character and ending up putting him um taking Razan off pursuit so we end up doing that as much as we can and we end up going through, we end up making sure that we run in between just these two pillars as this is going on. And, and then at that point, we end up, you know, just kill him. Uh, it wasn't too bad, we kind of just went right through it, so it worked pretty well. I'll be fine. Run, run. Pursuit's over, you're good. That was a quick one. He uh, vanished. Oh, sweet. Whoa. I thought he actually can hit you with his tail. I didn't know that. I spun him around. That used to be I... the most dangerous thing about this boss, as you can tell. Uh, really? Feet. Oh, that's funny. Four, three, two, one. Pursuit in five. Ready to run. Are you looking to support the channel? Please make sure you go to our merch store. The link is in the comments below. We have mugs, shirts, lots of cool, cool things that we end up will love you to purchase and be wearing and supporting the channel. I greatly appreciate it and thank you so much. So now, as you can see, we're gonna be doing a couple of actual decent sized pulls here. We're gonna be ending up pulling the two mobs plus the stalker then we're going to grab the shield bearers here we're going to end up aoeing them down as hard as we possibly can trying to get them done and as as quick as we possibly can from there when they're almost dead because it is a bolstering week i'm very careful to pull this next group this next group we pull very very quickly now something i will tell you is that with ad you have to be very very careful on the stairs there is actually some invisible mobs on top of those stairs, so you will pull them if you get that close. So be very, very careful. After you end up DPSing this group down, we end up passing up the next group, and we end up pulling the ones by the stairs there. The trick with this group here is that you end up bursting the totem as quick as possible to allow us to get access to that other guy who ends up starting to do the spits. And we kind of start working through the room as little bit as we can. You gotta be very, very careful as you're going around little by little. After you end up doing that, you'll end up having access to be able to go down. So from there, we end up jumping down into the hole. We grab the two stalkers that are on the steps there. And then we end up taking those stalkers and then we bring them up into the top group. We end up taking them into the top group and we end up taking them and we kill them there. 
This time we ended up waiting to kill the stalkers down below only because we were concerned with it being fortified and bolstering. We also pulled this group down here only because we wanted to make sure we burned a little bit more time when we're going to the first boss. The I mean, should say the second boss. The second boss is actually a little bit harder than the others, so we'd like to have lust for him. So we kind of started to clear and try to get as much of that dead as possible so we can have lust for that boss. Well, that's why we're getting lost in the slides and we're going Now, the DPS are DPSing around the room properly. Now, we try to keep an eye on all of the totems as the tank. We try to make sure that if anybody does need some type of help, we can go help them while we make sure we're ending up doing our interrupts because those interrupts are very, very important. Because if any of them, if you get more than two stacks, it starts to causing a lot of problems. So that Noxic stench, which he casts, you got to make sure you interrupt that right away. We keep an eye, we're watching, and everything is actually going pretty well and pretty even, which is pretty nice for us. And we end up going from there, and uh, we end up taking him out, and then we end up deciding to lust, and we end up taking the boss around by going around the edge of the room, nice and slow, and keeping an eye on him. <sighs> With it, rodeo. Road cutting. Guys, go ahead and break it down. Break it, break it, break it, break it. Break it down. Here we go. Nice transition. There wasn't a lot of damage. That was good. Oh. Run away. Charlie, I really love playing Brewmaster. It is the best. I'm just all by myself over here. Dodge everything. <laughs> oh, stop it. You're definitely better than Pal's tank. Oh, I didn't realize I was so low on mana. My goodness. We shouldn't have to be healing, man. Well, I mean, I still do a little bit. Run away. As always, just wanted to make sure you know we partner with Sub2R for our gamer glasses, our green screens, our camera mounts, our cameras, all of those enjoyable objects that we end up using while streaming for our long gaming sessions to help increase our quality of our streams. So make sure you use Lord PDTV at sub2r.com when you end up going there and purchasing some of this amazing gear. Make sure you end up checking out our other channels. We have a sister channel called Gaming Fire with Lord PDTV, which we end up giving you some specific gaming news that is popping up here and there throughout the whole entire week. And then make sure you're also checking out our Stories with Lord PDTV, where we end up giving you little short stories that he's handwritten throughout the whole entire week, which we think you'll greatly appreciate. Thank you so much, and check those out. And hit the subscribe button here when you are ready. Most of these pulls here aren't too bad. The only ones you really got to be concerned with is the pull in the doorway here and the one on top of the stairs. The thing is, is that those pulls are huge AOE pulls and they feel amazing to do. So it really doesn't matter when you're ending up doing that. So you're going to grab the packs, you're going to AOE them down, and then from there you're going to proceed forward. Once again, they're just a, like a decent amount in fun groups 
you have to very be be very careful while you're going through this because of the bolstering. The princess is not that bad to deal with. All you got to make sure you're dealing with is that spirit of the gold. Make sure you take care of that spirit of the gold. Make sure he doesn't eat any of those, you know, pools of blood. After that, you're going to want to make sure you keep an eye on everything else that's going on. Once you get that transfusion notification, you get that transfusion so that you're essentially killing the boss with the transfusion. You're only technically dealing 50% to even 60, I should say even 40% of your damage to the boss, the transfusion does the rest of the work for you. So just be aware of that while you're going through this. Yeah, you should always take the farthest one. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know what I did. <laughs> He'll do it again. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to, but I might honestly. I'm pretty selfish. That's what we do. Yeah. I abuse that yeah. thing. Oof. Ew. No, sorry, bro. So how do you keep yourself hydrated over those long gaming sessions? Here at Lord PD TV, we end up using Rogue Energy drinks. That is what we use here. We end up drinking those throughout the whole entire sessions. Please make sure you go there and use Lord PD TV at checkout when you end up purchasing some of those amazing drinks. I'm not going to talk that much about uh, Yasma because everyone has kind of seen the video that we posted about how to fight and kill her. The one thing you got to make sure, just remember, stay away from the soul runs. Make sure you're moving the boss as a tank as often as you can. And make sure you are dealing and keeping an eye on the spiders. The spiders and the soul runs are what's going to kill you here. Nothing else. So just be very, very careful of how everything's going. Most, I would say mostly the spiders is what's going to kill you. Thankfully, it's a fortified week. You might get nicked by one. If you have enough HP, you could live. But if not, you're going to instantly die. But it's something just to be notified of and just keep your eyes ready to go. Well, wonderful. Just watch behind you. Okay. I mean, you're supposed to be with the group anyway. So you tie all the spiders to one spot. Cut them together. Tie them all into the fucking group is what I'm going to do. Get out of here. Screw y'all. Careful. Spiders incoming. Run away. Watch the spiders with your butts. 
watch them with the butts? Watch behind you. I know. <laughs> Thank All you right. for looking out. <laughs> oh, they're all going to you guys now. Moving. I'm gonna, we're gonna have to bait them. Yep. Careful, there's gonna be one more pull, so then I'm gonna throw them to the far side. I'm scared. Run away. Thank you so much for taking your time out and checking out the amazing videos that we are ending up producing here. Now, just a reminder, we end up putting videos out throughout the whole entire week involving our Miss Weaver Monk, our Brewmaster Monk, our Boomkin Druid, our Guardian Druid, our Combat Rogue, and many other classes throughout the whole entire week. But please make sure you come and check us out. We are doing this every single week, live on Twitch.tv, every single Monday through Friday. Please come check us out. Subscribe to our YouTube page here and our sister pages. And if you're looking to support the channel, you know where to find it. Thank you so much and have a fantastic rest of your day.